Coastal Georgia is a popular site for recreational crabbing. It's allowed year-round at any time of the day and there are a number of ways for licensed crabbers to harvest blue crabs. Blue crab traps or pots can be used by licensed recreational crabbers. They can be purchased at local hardware and marine supply stores. Crabbers may use up to six standard size crab traps that are no larger than two by two feet. Crab traps must have two escape rings on the outside vertical wall that allow juvenile blue crabs and small fish to escape. Diamondback Terrapin excluder devices can easily fit on the outer entrance funnels on crab traps. These excluder devices prevent terrapins from getting caught in the traps and drowning. Coastal organizations like Tybee Island Marine Science Center provide terrapin excluder devices to the public for free. A metal frame can be attached to the crab trap to help weigh down the trap and prevent loss in strong tidal currents. Raw chicken or fish parts are commonly used as bait, which is placed in the bait box in the center of the trap. Recreational crabbers are required to mark their trap with a fluorescent green buoy with the owner's name and address in one-inch letters. More popular and widely used recreational crabbing gear may include crab ring nets and hand lines. Ring nets can be purchased at local hardware and marine supply stores. Ring nets and hand lines are reasonably priced and easy to use. Most often, they're used at docks, bridges, and local marinas. Weights can be added to the crab rings and hand lines to weigh the gear down in strong currents. Chicken parts are attached to the net or hand line and the gear is lowered into the water. It is helpful to tie the other end of the line to the dock to prevent loss of the net. The crab ring or hand line is then periodically checked for blue crabs. For more information, visit the Marine Extension and Georgia Sea Grant website.